Hey y'all, so I have this video for you. <laughs> I hate pictures of food. I'm a person who thinks that like pictures on menus make food less appealing. I'm a vegetarian and so in particular pictures of like yummy burgers and steaks not appealing to me. I get nauseous really easily. I am attempting body neutrality but I'm not there yet and so I in my quest to make more delicious food and fresh food. I'm also trying to get more comfortable with the whole pictures of food thing. So for over a month, I've had a bunch of little video clips of food on my phone. I've gone a little bit crazy, but I'm mostly fine. And every time I make something really delicious looking or my partner makes something delicious looking, I am finding myself reaching for my phone and taking a short video, which is big progress. <laughs> little clips of food that is made at home that has been delicious uh, and also that looks nice, nice enough to take a picture of when you're me who doesn't like pictures of food but is trying to get better at not hating pictures of food. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. Here are those foods. <laughs> I really like knowing ingredients or being able to like use a marketing sort of know-how to describe food well. I like being able to say this was like a tomato basil sandwich and a cracked egg with a little sprinkle of paprika. Like that makes me feel like I did something. Like that meme where it's like, could a depressed person do this? That's how I felt about almost every meal that I made. Could a person with crippling anxiety possibly have made that food? I don't think so. I mean, obviously, yes, they did. Also, that videos and pictures are really different. We live in this age of social media, and I've thought this for a long time, that videos of me I like more than pictures of me. There are a lot of pictures of me where I'm like, absolutely not. And so like a freeze frame of me right now, every freeze frame on that's not gonna be my favorite. My hair looks like Sir Robin. Robin brought forth from Camelot. And I have a face that isn't perfect and I'm not wearing makeup right now. But that in motion, in life, uh, in living technicolor, I like things a lot better than in pictures. So pictures of food, I still don't think are for me. But videos of food, especially like well-lit videos of food, which some of those were and some of those weren't, uh, that are well staged can actually make me hungry. I can like be appetized by that. I think watching a tasty video where people make something really delicious could get me hype about a recipe. I also found myself wanting to make food that looked different from the other food. Every meal couldn't be a burrito because then in the video, it would just look like the same meal. I don't know if that actually made me diversify my eating habits, but it feels like it maybe did. And I also didn't have chicken nuggets and fries as many times as I usually do. I just had it that one time with the Mickey Mouse shaped nuggets. And then like a couple other times I didn't film for the video, but 
My favorite meals in this video were definitely the sandwiches. I've been enjoying making breakfast sandwiches with different greens, veggies, seasonings, and cream cheese on them. So that was really exciting. That squash pizza at the very end is also a tried and true recipe that I really like that I can also link below the recipe for the pizza sauce, which is also vegan and delicious. This was loosely inspired by the What I Ate in a Day videos that Kira Rose does. So I will um, link those below. Uh, she's vegan. She's a mum. She's really cool. She used to have green hair and be really into Xena and tattoos. And she's still into Xena and tattoos, I assume. But now she's like more lifestyle-y. And honestly, it's been the content progression that I needed for my life. So I highly recommend. So that was the video. I don't know how you got here, but I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. He was not afraid to die for